Hey, a lot of times when I'm cutting this foam, I wish I had one of those fancy hot wire cutters that you see other guys using. Today, instead of this, I think I'm going to try to make a hot wire cutter. It's just a piece of wire that you run uh, some DC electricity through until it gets red hot, and then you run it on through the foam and it's supposed to cut it. So I've seen some other guys make one, so I'm going to try my own. That, that way I don't have to use the blade. We'll try to use the wire instead. Let's get started. Okay, so this hot wire device consists of a handle, a piece of wire that is nichrome in nature. I've heard that guitar wires work just fine too, like the E and B strings of a guitar. Um, so it has the handle and it has DC voltage that runs up through the handle. It connects to these two eye bolts and then voltage is passed through this nichrome wire to cut the foam. So it's a pretty simple idea. The uh, power supply that we're using is 5 volts and it's an old computer power supply and uh, that's pretty much it. So the first thing we have to do to make one of these is go ahead and start cutting the plumbing pipe and assembling all the little bits. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to put one of these in each side so I have something to stretch a wire across. I'm going to put one here and one there. So I need to drill a couple little holes. Laser activating. Doesn't have to be exact. About a quarter inch long. Just trying to look for a hole that is a little bit smaller than this. See? And then I don't have to have anything on the other side to hold it. these two things and one there and, and then I'll stretch the the wire the hot wire across here I'll just wrap it on one side then the, on the other side I'll put a uh, a spring to pull the tension okay so I need to put some wire up through this thing this is going to be my handle. My wire is going to go up here. It's going to branch off here and here. And one piece of the wire is going to be touched to this metal. And the other one is going to be touched to here. So before I put this thing together permanently, I'm going to run the wire now. I'm just using this an old plug that I cut off from something. So there's our handle. <laughs> now when you get to this part, this is where this piece of wire has to touch this. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew this. And once you bring the wire up through. And I'm going to bring it over the top just like that. And then I'm going to put it into the thread, into this hole. Oops. Like that. So the wire is coming up and coming out here. And then there's just enough for me to sneak this back in with it. 
and that'll give us the connection to the wire too. See how I'm and it'll also make the screw tighter. That's good too. So that's what we have. And we're just gonna put this together. Pull this back. That's what we have so far. Looks like a medieval torture device. I'm just taping these pipe seams with some red electrical tape so that we don't have to use glue on the joints and so it don't fall apart. Actually, two more. Looks fancy, don't it? Don't you wish you had one? Actually, anybody that works with fiberglass or shapes surfboards or works with foam in any way could use this tool. Foam is used when you're making molds for fiberglass. So. There's a lot of plans out there for foam cutters, but this is just something I thought of in my head and figured I'd try it out. Okay, there it is. All I need now is some nichrome wire. I've heard that an E and a B high string on a guitar will also work, but you know, instead of using guitar strings, I figured this was only $5. It's called nichrome wire. Uh, this was made by SIG. And uh, there's quite a bit on that spool. I don't know how much is on. And I've already tried it and it works really well, so we're just going to go with this. I'm going to attach it permanently with um, just wrapping it on one side. And then I'm going to stretch it across and hook it to a spring on the other side. I'm going to take that spring out of this, this pen. So I'll do that now. I'm just wrapping this spring with the nichrome wire after I got myself in the thumb with it from this little spring got me. I think this spring is pretty critical. Um, you could try to leave it out if you want to, but I know that when this wire heats up it does grow. And so that'll keep tension on it the whole time it's cutting. Okay, give me a minute. On the other end of my cord, I'm just going to strip these wires and I'm going to put one to ground and one to 5 volt DC. I'm using a old power supply out of a computer. You could use a battery charger too if you don't have a computer power supply. Anything with 5 volts. You might even be able to get away with an old cell phone charger. Just make sure that it's about 5 volts DC. I'm just stripping the ends so I have so I can wrap them around the screws. It doesn't matter what wire goes to what um and Here's my 5 volt and here's my my ground. One's red and one's black. 
it doesn't matter if one's on red or one's on black it doesn't matter did I say it didn't matter on and see if it uh, works. I can see it smoking. Might take a minute for it to get hot. Probably not a good idea to breathe this stuff in. Trace out some shapes and we'll make something useful out of it. Hang on. I think it would be better if you had a wood template and you were just cutting against it. Whoops. <laughs> there's, my <laughs> there's my Christmas tree. Here, we'll try an angel. How could I go wrong with an angel, right? I think I'm getting a little better as I go, though. I don't know. We'll see. skill to it. Come around for the finish. And down. Okay guys. This one is a little crappy. There's my snowman. So it does work. It's probably not real practical for hand holding. But if you need to cut some foam out, a sheet of foam or something like that, it might work. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.